Today is the 44th day of us playing Viking Rise as an F2P account, and we are still waiting for our first T5 troops research to be finished. And while we are waiting for it to be done, since we are maintaining the F2P account, one of the tips that I would suggest is to change the type of your village into Commerce Village. As of now, I have two Commerce Village, and I am planning to convert also the last village into Commerce Type Village. But it has given me a choice to spend 500 gems or wait for the cooldown reduction before we execute the conversion. So I would choose to wait for the cooldown reduction than to spend 500 gems. So our plan is to have three commerce villages and one mining type village. So why do we need to have a three commerce village type? Commerce villages will give us random speed ups. That is why in times like this, we really need to have a lot of speed ups. But anyway, for today's video, we are going to show you the best equipment and skills for Harold, our newest infantry commander, and I think he is the strongest infantry commander currently. But before we jump in, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Viking Rise tips. There is this event called the Valhalla's Call, and they are actually giving three amazing new heroes and one of them for me was actually the real deal and you will get him once you reached and unlocked this stage. For me, currently, he is the strongest infantry commander when it comes to direct damage factor and there is one hero that I can compare him to because both of them has 2000 direct damage factor when you awaken their skill. That hero was not here on this account. Let us go to other account. I don't know how to call his name, but I would call him Born. This hero is the only infantry commander who has a whopping 2,000 direct damage factor in his awakened skill. And for me, he is the strongest infantry commander, because with that damage factor, he also has an impressive attributes of slowing down the enemy and inflict bleeding or continuous damage to the enemy. Next to him, as the strongest infantry commander is Harold. We will the it is my you will Harold go also has 500 plus base damage factor, same with Born. Also, he also inflicts slowdown effect to the enemy, which lasts longer than Born. The only thing that Harold miss is the continuous damage, but he disarms the enemy target. For me, Born and Harold are the two strongest infantry commander as of now, but let us go to the smithy. What really is the best equipment for Harold before we go to his best skills? Okay, so some kingdom has a blessed equipment, but let's use this monster equipment tab. And let's pick first what we will be forging for weapon slot. Since he is an infantry commander, Axe of Rage is what I would suggest, since it has the infantry attack and defense attributes. Next is the headgear slot. Let us find the best equipment here. And I think the Howler's Crown is the best fit for the headgear since it has the highest infantry defense attributes. Let's go to the body gear slot.
Okay, I would suggest the Venom Armor for Body Gear slot because it has the infantry attack and health attributes. Now let's go to the last slot, which is the Foot Gear. Okay, there are a lot of infantry attributes here, but I would suggest the one that has a defense attributes since it is an infantry commander, and infantry is the tank in the battlefield. I would suggest the Earthquake Boots, which has the highest attributes here, on this slot when it comes to infantry defense. Those four equipment are the best equipment for our new infantry commander, I think. Let us go to his best skills that I would suggest. Slow effect, disarming the enemy, and having the direct damage factor are the three feature skills of our newest infantry commander. And because of that, here are the best skills that I would suggest for Harold. I would suggest the skills that has 100% probability. And the first skill is the Wild Indulgence, which has a direct damage factor every 10 seconds in the battlefield. You can also use the Breaking Free skill since it has a 100% probability. Next is the Thor's Determination skill since he is also a basic attacker. The Odin's Asylum also, which has the direct damage and a shield factor. You can also Epic skills if you have not yet get the legendary skill for him. And the Epic skills that I would suggest are the Fearless, which has the direct damage factor and it has also 100% probability. Next is the Splinter, which has the direct damage and slow factor. The Gaining Momentum skill with direct damage factor. And the last one if the, the Containment with direct damage and disarm factors. Those are the best skills and equipment for Harold that I would suggest. If you have something to share, please use the comment box below. Like this video and don't forget subscribe to our channel.